I really think that some of y'all think that this manifestation thing does not work, that it's not real. But let me tell you, after this video, if you don't think that it's real, after you watch this video, I, I really, I don't know what to tell you. I don't know what to tell you. What is good, you guys? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Autumn. Thank you so much for being here. It is my intention with this video and any video that I make, it is my intention to help you strengthen your resolve in your I am and to help you realize your manifestations are already present. So let's get into this video, you guys. I'm so excited for this video. As you've seen the title, yes, how I manifested 10K in under 24 hours it was actually four hours but just for the sake of this video let's do 24 hours because there was a quite a few things that has happened that led up into that but when i tell you this happened in a way that i could not have even imagined it happened in a way that i never imagined so i'm going to tell you guys the story time and i'm going to tell you exactly the tips that i have in order for you to manifest large sums of money and you could take this message and apply it to anything that you are trying to manifest in your life it's very valuable so i hope that you stick all the way through this video let's get into it so i really want to preface this story time by saying that this happened the thing that changed my life that happened comes off of the back end of a spiritual experience and what i mean by that is it felt like an outer body experience that I've had. Now, mind you, I've had many spiritual experiences in my life ever since I've been little. I've always been connected in that way. So I remember for the past two months, I had been kind of going back and forth, combing over my life. And I've talked about it on here about how I really wanted to really get rid of that one belief that I had or that one belief that was really taking over my life was the fact that I had it in my mind that I had to work hard for everything that I obtained, everything that I've done, even money and all these things. And I remember just getting burnt out from working so hard. And I really sat down and I was like, well, how do I want my ideal life to be? So that's what I have been doing for the past two months. And within that time, it seemed like the opposite was happening. I was getting random ass bills, like things that were getting added on ridiculous ass light bills, like things like that, like car things. Like you guys know when you set the intention to change your life and you're really already on a projected path of your life sometimes when you decide that you're going to change your life like that old timeline still kind of plays out so that old timeline that I was on where I had to work hard for every single thing it was just like the effects of that was trying to bleed into what I was now thinking of the fact that I don't have to work hard for money and that money comes to me easily money flows to me I don't have to work hard for money money just shows up that ideal that I'm in currently it seemed like the opposite was happening right and I remember getting so burnt out over the past like past two weeks I believe that I remember I told myself I wasn't going to do very much I said what would happen if I didn't work super hard what would happen if I didn't push myself to constantly make content or to even just try to work my ass off like what if I did what felt good to me in that moment and you know didn't make a big deal out of what I was doing what would happen and I have been joking around saying that I wanted a large sum of money so that way I could just do certain things that I wanted to do like take a trip and do all this stuff and I have been joking around about it I set the intention about it but I was not um concrete on a certain amount of money that I wanted or just you know money in general I was not as concrete about it so I remember sitting at my desk about a week ago I want to say this happened like two weeks ago now I've been chilling since then but I remember sitting at my desk where I edit my videos and I went to go turn on some music and I was just so over it I think at the time I had gotten a bill for like um you know if you live in texas or, or things like that like the toll roads or something like that but it was like a bill that came very late and so it was like late fees and things like that and i literally had no idea this bill existed so i was just like like over it 
And I said, you know what? It is what it is. I let it go. So I sat down and I said, you know what? I'm not going to work. I'm not going to try to figure out how I'm going to do anything right now. It just is what it is in this moment. So I sit down and I just remember saying out loud, I said, fuck it. It's going to be what it's going to be. And so I sit down. And at that moment, you guys, this really happened. But if you guys don't believe into like esoteric things and like spiritual things, then, you know, fast forward to get to the tips. But as soon as I sat down in the chair, you guys, it was like something ejected me out of like my chair. And it was like a vision, but it connected to like a 3D kind of like or a holographic, should I say? It's like a holographic like background i'm sitting in my room but i see this like within my head basically this experience that i'm having and so it's like a holographic type of world i guess i'm in and there's this light above me and i go back and i connect to that light now the way that i could describe this is if you've seen the movie interstellar which is one of my favorite movies i recommend you watching that movie if you've never seen it please watch it it's a great movie so interstellar when he goes in and he goes through the little timelines for the string theory about how you could connect to different timelines that everything is happening all at once it was kind of like that little moment where it was i was sitting up here and i could see myself like as the observer watching me live my life in this reality that I was currently living in that I realized that I had jumped into a timeline that I technically did not agree with it was like you know when you go through the motions and you end up in situations that you didn't really want to be in by way of thinking and holding on to one particular thought that takes you on a path that you did not want to be on it was kind of like that so within me watching myself in this space i'm watching myself live my everyday life i'm watching myself have these thoughts i'm watching myself have the thoughts of that i have to work super hard for money and me stressing and trying to figure out and making action doing all the the things in this space i see that but at that moment i feel compassion for myself if that makes sense not like not that anything is wrong, but just in a way of a choice that I'm accepting. And within that, you could take these little strings or these little, I guess you could say it kind of looked like a film roll or like a screen. And you can like move the screens over to choose a different experience for that reality where there's going to be different outcomes so i literally remember sitting there and i remember just looking through all these different like screens and seeing different realities playing off and in my mind i say i want to go to the you know script or the film where everything is working out perfectly for me and so i can remember going through all these little screens that i'm looking at and it's like a screen i'm looking at myself observing myself live this life and i choose the one where everything just comes to me naturally comes to me easily where i am able to manifest large sums of money on hand that sort of thing and so i see that and i'm okay with that i'm watching that screen i like the way that things look i like how happy i am i like how how content i am how how well i feel and in that i project myself back into that screen and when i come out of this like in real time when i come out of this you guys i've never felt so convicted and that felt like the whole experience felt like it happened within a 30 minute span but i swear it was only like two minutes when i looked at the clock it was two minutes compared to that 30 minutes and i just remember having that experience and remember feeling completely different after that like completely different like even to this day I don't remember certain things because I feel like I instantly shifted myself into another, you know, reality or another screen where I'm living a new reality. And so in that, I remember like sitting there and remembering, thinking like, oh my gosh, like 
that's what it means when you get to decide because it wasn't like that other screen or that other reality that I was living and moving around in it wasn't that it was bad it was just a choice that I made that really stemmed off of one decision that I had made was to believe that money came hard for me that I didn't have to like you know that money didn't just come easily that I always had to work for money that was the one Thing that I had that made that reality play out in that way but in this reality everything is easy I'm accepting I've opened myself up to receive easily in this that feels different so it's a different perspective for your storyline if that makes sense and so in that I remember I said I'm gonna put it to the test we're gonna see how fast I can manifest money right so within this I decided I said I'm gonna manifest ten thousand dollars I know it's gonna come fast like I when I tell you guys I'd never been convicted the way that I was convicted when it came to this like I just knew that since I connected to source like I told you guys I connected back to that light that was looking from above and not in the reality but I was watching myself live that reality so i hope this is making sense to you guys but as i'm watching myself i've connected to source so this is what i'm meaning when i say that when you feel separated or when you feel resistance is because you have forgotten your power as the operant power of your life when you connect back to source this is what abraham hicks means when she says when you connect back to source when you are in the vortex this is when things get good when you connect yourself back to the source and let divine intelligence take care of it for you the way just comes you just choose whatever story or whoever you are or assume to be whoever you want to be and everything works out for you so i just was like you know we're gonna just put this to the test I'm going to manifest $10,000. I know it's going to come quickly. I know it's not going to take forever. I don't know how it's going to come in, but I already know and I trust that it's done. I remember like saying this with so much conviction because I knew from the place that I was speaking it from. I wasn't speaking from trying to figure things out. I was speaking from a place, a higher place, knowing that it is working out. I hope that that makes sense. So when I after this I remember getting into the tub I remember taking my laptop in the bathroom and I like to watch Netflix on my laptop while I'm uh, taking a bath so that's what I was doing I was taking a bath I took my laptop in and I just remember sitting there feeling so different and in my mind I got this inkling to go onto this website I remember I got this website's name and it was a website from when I used to work at a department store 10 years years ago and it was a website where it was like a savings um kind of like thing that they have for the associates that you can sign up when you first started working there and it took like what maybe like 10 15 dollars out of each of your checks and it put it in there for a savings for you so it was like a separate savings account from your bank now I remember typing that in and because I, I out of all the 10 years I haven't worked there in so long but like literally I remembered all that information and I logged in and you guys when I tell you the number that was on that screen I remember I had to fill out all the information I had to put in my social security I had to put in everything to get this pulled up because I had not worked at this location in over like six years so when I tell you I went back and I looked to see how much money was in there I was able to get in and when I tell you the money that was in there was I think it was ten thousand three hundred and eight dollars when I tell you I seen that, I literally was like, what the hell? Like, what the hell? Like, and it wasn't even in a way that was like sh that shocking to me because it felt natural. Like, it wasn't anything that was like, oh my gosh, this is so crazy. It was, it was crazy, but it was just like, of course, in this reality, this always happens to me.
Does that make sense? And so I was like, oh my gosh, there's the $10,000. It had been within that time from my spiritual experience to me taking a bath, it had been like four hours. And so me just sitting and relaxing and declaring what I wanted to come to me, it came to me through divine intelligence because I was not thinking about that sight I had not remembered that sight I had not remembered anything in so long so when that popped up I was just like that had to be no one but divine intelligence intelligence working through me it was crazy and so as you guys saw I put the proof up on the screen when I was able to I didn't want to close the account out so I just took some money out but I didn't take the whole ten thousand dollar dollars out but I'm telling you you guys that was so crazy. So yes, you guys, I got the money. I literally just set up my account and I set to deposit it into my account. And as you guys see, that was the proof. It came in like two days. Like when I tell you, I was just like, that was the most natural thing that happened. And ever since then, money has been coming into my life so, so smoothly, you guys. Like, you really don't have to do anything at all, all right? So I'm actually getting ready to give you guys my tips of how to manifest large sums of money. Remember, take this and apply this to anything in your life. But I hope that these tips are extremely valuable to you. So the first tip that we have is you have to understand that manifesting is a conscious decision. No one has the power to decide to give you anything. Remember, I've talked about this before. When you are manifesting something, you are not in a place where you are asking for something. You do not need to be in a place where you are asking for something because most people will use the law of assumption and say that they want, let's say the $10,000 I'm manifesting $10,000 and you're assuming that you're going to get $10,000 but on the underhand or on the back part you are assuming and hoping and saying well I hope I get it or or thinking that you have to ask someone outside of you. It is you making a choice to be in whatever reality that you want to be in and you have to realize that some of the little thoughts or the one belief that you have is that one thing that has taken you on a path down to a reality that you do not really want. So we look at our lives sometimes and we wonder how we ended up getting to certain places in our lives and it's from one particular thought. And once you assume who you want to be and you decide that this is the life that you have, when you decide that you have to get into that state and stay there for as long as you can. And when I tell you guys this did not take long, it was just the fact that I was convicted I, I was convicted about being the operant power over my life. So whenever you are assuming something, you have to realize, are you assuming it from a place of power, of knowing that you are the operant power? I'm telling you guys, from my vision, when I was looking down at my life, I had the decision to choose. I could have chose a decision that could have had me in an unfavorable circumstance or I can choose the decision that gives me the end result that I want. And both of them are neutral. They are not one bad or one the other. It's just which one you prefer. That's why I said that even when connecting back to source, it felt so neutral. It didn't feel judge judgment. I didn't feel that it was wrong for me to choose the reality where I have a ton of money versus me choosing and staying in the reality that I was where I felt like I needed to work hard they both felt like they were good choices it was just like which one do you prefer to choose so in the end this is what it means when that God does not see anything bad or good it just is it's just whatever choice you choose and when you link up to source you are acting as the operant power over your life you're the only one that gets to make decisions about how your life is going to go now if you don't then you just decide to hop on whatever timeline and that's how you end up in unfavorable timelines by keep choosing certain thoughts choosing certain behaviors that put you into more of an unfavorable position 
position. But when you make the choice to decide from being the higher power in your life, then it happens instantly. Your manifestations happen more so instantly. So the second thing is you just want to take the restrictions off the way that the money is going to come in. Because you guys, I never remembered that site where that savings account was on. And I never would have remembered it if I didn't take the restrictions off of how the money was going to come in. Because in my mind, I was thinking, okay, what do I have to do to get this money to come in? What do I need to do as far as work? Do I need to do this? Do I need to do that? And if I had only stayed within that thought of just thinking from that, that is narrowing God, that is narrowing, narrowing my higher power or the operant power to move through me and to to bring me what it is that I want with the least resistance as possible. But me setting parameters for how money is going to come in definitely restricts that and can take longer time for the money to come in. But because I said, I don't care how this money gets here. I know what's going to get here. That's why it came. And that's why I was able to instantly remember that site. And you guys, that I remember when I first quit my that job that had that savings account connected to it. I remember about that first month I went on there and I tried to get that money out, but it just was not like I couldn't even log on to the site for some reason. So that's how you know that everything is happening all at once. My self then knew that this self 10 years later would want that that account would need that money would would want that ten thousand dollars out of that account so i needed to make sure that at this time this present moment now the money was just always there which leads me to my third tip that is the money is already there Listen, you guys, everything that you ever could want, ever desire is already present. This is something that you have to know. If you are looking for love from a specific person, you have to already know that love is already available to you at any moment, that you can look out into your reality and find a version of love, whether it is from yourself, whether it is from your family, whether it is from other people, the evidence is all always there. The evidence of money is always there. No matter if it is a penny on the ground, no matter if you see 10,000 trees outside, no matter if you see everybody in their car driving, do you know that that car equates to money? There is always abundance around you. And when I switch my mindset to that, I have really started to realize over time that money is just always near me it's just it just it's in everything that i already have so money is already there you guys like i said i wouldn't have known that that money was already there but i was placing the restrictions on how it was going to come and so of course i couldn't see that that money was already present and ready readily available to me i had to realize that money is always there and it can come from any anywhere that large sum of money could have came from anywhere. And even if I say that that savings account, you know, even if I didn't have that, that $10,000 would have came from anywhere else because that's just how it is. That's how the law works. Number four it is you have to really dare to assume. And this is what I mean when I said, I was like, okay, we're going to really test this out. And if I am saying that I am God, if I am saying that I am the operant intelligence, you know, I have the operant power over my life. And if I'm saying that I am connected to source, then through me is when my manifestations come through. It is all done through you, you guys. It is all done through source divine intelligence working through you to bring you your manifestation. So you have to assume who it is that you want to be. And like Neville said, it doesn't matter if it's one person, 100 persons, 10,000 people's, if 10,000 people have a part to play, if 10,000 situations have a part to play, they will be moved in order to bring you to your manifestation. This is the law. It cannot return void.
void. Your words and by you declaring from where you are and who you are being, if you're declaring from seeing yourself as a higher power and knowing that it's already done for you, it's going to feel natural when it comes in. And so you guys, like I said, it felt so natural me getting that money, like, because it was just like, it's normal for things like that to happen to me in this reality. Once I made the decision that it was no longer that I no longer had to work hard for money, that at, in an instant, I could decide that I no longer have to work hard for money. And it is so because I am convicted to being the operant power over my life. That is really the only reason why th this happened is because I was convicted that I was the only one who got to decide what my fate is. And if I have or don't have is really up to me. It's not up to anybody else. I don't have to ask any one outside of me to give me what it is that I want it just is because that is where I choose it from I choose it from the power of me being the only person who has the power to decide over my life and so I'm going to assume that and I'm going to assume that what I want in my imagination is the only reality, not anybody else's. And I'm not waiting for anybody to give anything to me. It just is. I don't give way for any other reality to come through. I didn't give any I didn't give any option for any lack to be there. It just was what it was. I was getting $10,000 and it was happening fast and it just happened, you guys. It really just happened. And then the last one is and I think that this one is really important and it is really taking that time to be the observer. If this situation, this outer body experience that I had taught me anything. It taught me the value of really understanding the observer because what it is about when I talk about being connected to God and being connected to your source and understanding that you are the source over your life. When you are connected to the higher power or the higher you or whatever it is that you want to call it, when you are connected with that, whatever you do and wherever you do it from has the power to bring you to your manifestation or bring you to who it is. But it actually brings you to the real realization that you who of who you are, you guys. It's not necessarily that we're doing things or these techniques or whatever it is to get it is for you to experience your true power which is the operant power over your life you guys it really what it does is when you manifest things like this and when you have transformed your life it really helps you see the divinity within you and for me that was more like priceless than getting this ten thousand dollars and i think this is why everything has been coming to me so much more easily now because i do have a better understanding of what it is to be the observer is understanding pulling yourself out of some of your situations especially when you're so attached to the outcome you're so attached to how you're going to do this how you're going to do that when you can pull yourself out of that and actually look in and observe yourself you have so much compassion for yourself you understand yourself you understand your experiences and you understand that the experiences that you are going through even the ones that you do not like are not deemed as good or bad they are just deemed as an experience that you are choosing that at any moment you can jump to another experience and choose something else so it's learning to and I remember I talked about this in another video where I was like, you learn to have love for every single situation of your life, knowing that it is just a choice that you are currently choosing to experience. Because every situation, everybody, everything plays a part for you to experience God through you in this reality it is you experiencing yourself it really is you knowing yourself i always talk about knowing yourself but when you really change your life when you really shift your life in all these ways and really have a different perspective of life and really see your own true power this is what it really means to know yourself to know your power to know what it is that you that you can create that it's already done for you you're just choosing what it is that you would like to experience as your god over your own life all right
so you guys i really hope that this video helped the money is always going to be there there's really nothing that you got to do but choose from the point of being the higher power not choosing from a place of you being desperate and you being in the situation you have to pull yourself out and see that you are just observing yourself having this experience that you have chosen you, when you choose another ex experience that you want you're now going to start observing yourself from having that certain experience this is what imagination truly is you guys this is why imagination is so important all right so you guys i hope that this resonated with you if you want to work with me everything you need to know is in the description box i love you guys so much thank you for being here and i will see you guys on my next video remember i almost forgot to say it but remember imagination is always on your side you guys i cannot say that enough imagination is always on your side and i am too bye